Hey guys, hoping to start a tour of the marketing department once people start joining in on this. Hi, hi guys, we're in the marketing department today. We're gonna we're gonna show you around the marketing department and tell you what we're up to. Hi there, Scott Chains, how's it going? Hi, hey guys. So um, with the Brent like and Amico tours, uh, we decided that the factory is so huge that we really wanted to kind of break it down into smaller segments and uh, make it so we can answer a lot of individual questions about what goes on in all those departments. And naturally, we figured it'd be best to start with the, um, the marketing department because that's where I work. I'm Danny. Um, not a lot of people are in here right now because they're either at lunch or off at meetings and stuff. And um, yeah, so I'll start showing you around. You can see, hey, what's up? So you can kind of see behind me, we do posters and all the advertisements and stuff that you see in um, Ceramics Monthly, Pottery Making Illustrated, any of that stuff that we produce, anything on our website, all of the test tiles, that's all done in this department. Um, we have a couple of potters. Um, hi, Espadelia, hello, how's it going? Um, so let me, let me show you around and I'll kind of, kind of hello. So here's a board where all of our like different iterations for all of our advertisements um, start hanging out, and we like to uh, we like to make sure that they are perfect, and we'll do like a million copies of all of them just to make sure. Sorry, this is kind of sloppy here. So, and these get turned into advertisements and larger boards like the chip boards. Like these are the Cone 5 Velvet Underglaze chip boards. And the Cone 05. And you can see some sample work that we have on there. And you can see these two internally. We do the, um, like the core values and stuff since we have a factory attached to us and we like to keep everybody informed and equal and happy and pictures help make that happen and we make those here so here's a couple more boards we're getting ready for Inseca and NAEA NAEA is like the Inseca for teachers so we take a lot of our um, our lessons and um, like charts. Have you ever done shipboard of velvet at Cone 10? We do, we bring those to Inseca with us just to let you know what they look like. They're also available on the website, I believe. Um, we have a brochure uh, under the velvets and uh, I'm not sure where exactly on the page it is, but if you scroll down on the velvet page on the website, um, it has samples in a brochure saying like what they look like at 5, 05, and 10. So um, good question. Uh, this is Kara. Hi. Hi. She's working on tips and tricks videos for upcoming newsletters and stuff. Um, when we do those, it's to help you guys realize that you can use our stuff in different ways than maybe it necessarily says on the bottle or you didn't think about or stuff like that. Um, I know in the past we've talked about like what happens when glaze freezes or clay freezes or you know things that you can't really help that wasn't in your control, but we can definitely help you fix. Look at all our books. And we have space helmets because um, occasionally we go to space and we do research out there too. Here's some cute little samples that we made for a lesson plan. This was the Create Your Community lesson plan. It's a schoolhouse and town hall right there and a little coral reef that I made for another lesson plan about the CTLs. We also have been working on um, making tiles of different clay bodies for the Potter's Choice glazes to show what the reactivity of them are is different clay bodies. So, and the interns right now are working on, hey, that's Christina, hey. and that's Will, and they are color correcting to help us understand what is going on with these glazes and how they look on a computer and in print. <laughs> Say, hey, Steven, he's walking away. <laughs> so as you can see, like, with saturation gold, it goes anything from, like, a dark black to, like, 
this brighter gold. I know there's a lot of variation in, um, we had a test tile Tuesday about this one. About PC49, because it'll like get speckles on, uh, I think this is 480, but it gets like a really, really smooth, smooth light turquoise color on uh, 38. So we wanted to make sure people knew about those differences. So we're starting to put those sure and on our website. And that's a lot of what we do here. And uh, any of those tiles that don't really make it into uh, brochures and stuff, we put into Test Tile Tuesday um, and share a lot of information about like strange things that's happened, um, maybe something you maybe need an explanation for or instructions how to do with one of our glazes. Um, yeah, so that's the marketing department. Ex Kinsey, she Hi. does all the graphic design now. Yay! Hello. Ah. <laughs> and she bought flowers because we're photographing attractor pieces for sell or sorry, Sheena's Potter's Choice and Sheena's. Yeah. This is Rochelle. Gotcha, Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, the chai mat. So for every glaze combination that we do, we make a, an attractor piece that goes in the advertisement, and it goes into these. And we're kind of back where we started, so. Thank you for joining us, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good day, guys. Bye.